Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a peacock. I've had a few requests for a peacock. When crocheted using a ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 13cm wide by 25cm or 5 inches wide by 9.25 inches. The medium peacock crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10cm wide by 18cm or 4 inches wide by 7 inches. This small peacock crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 7cm wide by 13cm or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide by 5 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be between the medium and the large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 515 emerald, 208 yellow gold, 201 electric blue and 254 moon rock. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and the black and the white are for the eyes and eye marking and I'll use a bit of the black for the head feathers as well and I've got these little blue seed beads for the top of the head feathers. Now I'm starting at the top of the head there I've got my 201, the electric blue and I start with four chain. For row one, I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one single crochet into the last stitch. The different stitches just gives it a little bit of a curved top. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch 
and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. And into our last stitch we're going to work two single crochet and one half double crochet. So two single crochet and for the half double crochet that's a half treble using UK terms. We put our yarn round the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 10 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet and 1 single crochet into the first stitch. And then 1 single crochet in each remaining stitch. We'll have 8 stitches. Row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. Then work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two half double crochet into our last stitch. For row 12 we start with two chain and turn our work. We work one half double crochet into each of the first five stitches and then one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have eight stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So work one single crochet into each of the first six stitches.
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the seven stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first five stitches. And to join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So that's the same stitch as the last part of our other joined single crochet and the last stitch. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our two stitches and for row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and that's the head and body done except for the neatening row we're not going to turn or fasten off we start with one chain and we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up to the neck. For a slip stitch we just put our hook into the stitch, find a place fairly close to the edge of your work and then pull, bring a stitch through and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And we try not to pull too tight so our work stays flat. So one slip stitch in each stitch up to the neck
Now when I get to the neck I'm going to work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches so I put my hook into the stitch and bring up a loop hook into the next stitch and bring up through a loop and take it straight through the loops on the hook and I might work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches as well but if you're working your slip stitches further apart uh, you probably wouldn't need to that's just to bend the neck over a little bit. Now I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch to the beginning of the row where I started. And once I get back to the beginning of the row, I fasten off. Now I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work the beak. Now for the beak, I've got my 254, the moon rock, and I'm going to join just in this stitch here, just where at the top of that slope and I work three chain I'm going to work a join double crochet over the same stitch as my join and the next stitch so I put the yarn around the hook hook into the same stitch as the join and bring up a loop yarn around the hook Take my hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook. Take my hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. I've got three loops on the hook. I put the yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I fasten off. And that's the beak done. I'll weave in those ends and then we'll start on the tail. Now for the tail, I've got my 515, the emerald, and I join 10 stitches up from the point there. So this stitch here. and I work two chain I work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one half double crochet into each of the next nine stitches down the side
and then we work two half double crochet in the point there. For row two we start with two chain and turn our work. We work three half double crochet into the first stitch Then we work one half double crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left. And we work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row three we start with three chain and turn our work. We work a joined treble Oh, sorry, a join double crochet over the first two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. There's three loops left. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet in each of the first three stitches. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and a joined double crochet over the last three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook. Take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook. Take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got four loops on the hook, 
we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then for row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work a join double crochet over the first 3 stitches, the same as we did for the last one. One half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. One single crochet into each of the following two stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. Two half double crochet into the following stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and a joined double crochet over our last three stitches. For row seven we start with three chain and turn our work. We work a joined double crochet over the first three stitches. Then a joined double crochet over the next two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. And a join double crochet over the last three stitches.
For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, One half double crochet into each of the following five stitches. And a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11, we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet in each of the first 4 stitches. One single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet in each of the next six stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and into the last stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 16 stitches. row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and into the last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 20 stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 19 stitches. Then we work four chain. For row 20 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the three remaining chain. And then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 22 stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 22 stitches. 
So after our joined single crochet work, one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 22 we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 20 stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. There are two stitches left. We work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 23 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 20 stitches. For bow 24 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 18 stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left.
and work a joined single crochet row for the last two stitches. For bow 25 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet row for the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 17 stitches. For bow 26 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. There are two stitches left, I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 27 I start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. There will be 15 stitches. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first 13 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 29 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left.
and work a joined single crochet row for the last two stitches. For both 30 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet row for the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end will have 11 stitches. For row 31 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet in each of the following two stitches. One double crochet in the next stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. Then one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off. I am going to do an evening row, but I'll join at the top of the tail there. I'll weave in that end and I'll be back and we'll work the evening row. Now for the evening row, I'm going to join the cotton on just where the green meets the blue, that first stitch there. I'll work one slip stitch into the next stitch and then I'm going to work one single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches down the back. I'm working over the top of this tail, just crocheting it in, I'm holding it next to my work. Now I've worked the first 10 and that just gives it a fairly straight back but now I'm going to work a bit of feathery parts just around to probably about here. So in between my single crochet I'm going to work one, two or three chain. So at the top I'll work one or two chain in between. So I'll start with one chain and then the next one I'll do two chain and then a single crochet into the next stitch and then I'll work one chain and a single crochet into the following stitch and I'll just keep working like that and it just gives it a little bit of a textured edge. So I'll do a two chain but just, just work it either one, two or three chain in between your single crochet. It doesn't matter what order.
I'm starting to work some three chain in between now. I'm a bit further down the tail. So I've just got those little kind of bobbles around it. So I'll continue working like that with one, two or three chain between my single crochet until I get to about here. I'll do that off camera and then I'll be back. I've worked around the tail. I've got about seven rows left there. I'm just going to work one single crochet in each stitch up to where the blue joins in. I'm just going to slip stitch into the last stitch there and fasten off. And that's the tail finished. Now for these little feather parts on the tail, I've worked 18 so I'll just work one on camera. I've got my 201, the electric blue, and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you normally do. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put my yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. Then I work one chain and work two single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and fasten off and that's the blue bit done. For the yellow bit I'm using my 208, the yellow gold and I join it in the top of the chain there. So just in here. And I work one chain. I work one single crochet into the first stitch. and one single crochet and one slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the first feather done. I'll work 17 more of those off camera. Now for the wing I've got my 254, the moon rock, and I start with 4 chain. For row 1, I work 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook, 1 double crochet into the next stitch. and one single crochet into the last stitch. 
For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet in each of the first 2 stitches and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 2 stitches and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 4 stitches and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 single crochet in each of the next 6 stitches, and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One single crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 3 stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the third stitch and bring up a loop. We've got 4 loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each of the last five stitches. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last four stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches 
For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. Now for the lengthening row we start with one chain, we turn our work and we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch around our piece. And once we get back to the beginning of the row, we fasten off. And that's the wing. I'll just weave in the ends for the main part and I'll be back and we'll work this leg. Now for this bottom leg, I join my 254, the moon rock, two stitches up from where the tail joins. On the body. So just in here. And I work eight chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the next two chain. And then I work four chain. That's for the front of the foot. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of those remaining chain there. The three. And then the next two of our original chain. And then I work one single crochet in each remaining chain. I slip stitch into the body in the same place as our join. And fasten off. And that's the first leg done, the bottom leg. I'll just weave in those ends so it will be easier for you to see when I do this top leg. 
For this top leg I've still got my 2-5 for the moon rock and I join two stitches up from the bottom leg. So this stitch here and I work 7 chain I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook then I work five chain I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the four remaining chain and then one slip stitch in each of the next two chain of the original chain. I work two single crochet into the next stitch. That's just to give it a bit of a bend. And then one single crochet in each remaining chain. And I slip stitch in the same stitch as the join on the body and fasten off. And that's the second leg done. Now for these head feathers I've got fine sewing thread and I bend it in half so I've got two strands. I leave a long tail on each end to attach a bead to it and to stitch it to the head. So I'll leave about that amount of tail and I'll work 12 chain. And I fasten off leaving a long tail. And the other one has worked the same. Two strands of sewing thread leaving a long tail at each end and 12 chain. So I'll weave in the rest of the ends except for these ends. I'll work some more feathers and then I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the bird, I've got the head feathers, the feathers and the wing. The first things I'll do is attach the wing to the bird. It goes in there. The bottom goes just onto the green and the top is about where the neck is and I'll attach a bead to each end of these two head feathers and I'll weave the ends down to the center so I'll be able to stitch it to the head. The next things I'll do is embroider on an eye. I'll put a black dot with a French knot in the middle and then two white dashes on each side and I'll attach the feathers. The blue part goes towards the top and I'll just arrange them down the tail.
just like that. The last thing I do is attach these two lots of head feathers just at the back there. Just in about there I think. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished peacock. And there's the finished peacock. The size is 11 centimetres wide by 20 and a half centimetres or four and a quarter inches wide by eight inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.